Hi guys, I'm David Shoebridge, and this year I'll be racing with MSS Performance on board the new ZX10 RR Kawasaki. We'll be racing alongside the British Superbikes in the Stock 1000 class, and our aim is to take you behind the scenes and give you an insight to what goes on. Okay, so my passion for racing came from my dad, who uh, in my early life, he used to race endurance and go from track to track as a youngster, following him around. Fast forwarding to 2015, we decided that we'd have a go together. We joined BEMSI and I did my Rookie 600 Championship. There was a nice guy called uh, Jeremy Hill, who uh, he's still a chairman for BEMSI actually, and he, um, he helps uh, specifically rookies get into racing, and he made it really quite easy for me to, to, to get into. So I found my feet and, uh, and didn't really have the best start. Had an accident on my first ever round and broke my collarbone, so that put me out of, out of touch for a while. And after two more rounds, found myself at Cadwell Park. Thought I was going really well, went into the MRO 600 class and uh, put, put the cat amongst the pigeons, as they say. I uh, was riding out of my skin and uh, had an accident on the second lap and found myself with, uh, with quite substantial injuries. I got airlifted to uh, hospital in Hull, where I, where I spent the next month and a half with, with a broken back, pelvis and compound fractures on my wrist and all kinds. So, uh, so not the most ideal start to racing, but I think I spent about three months in hospital. And in the January the following year, uh, so this will be 2016, my dad had my bike built up. We went off to Almeria over in Spain and I, and I found myself back on the bike and, and riding really well. I really enjoyed it and, and I kind of felt that I had more of a purpose now for, for racing. I hadn't got enough out of racing to warrant the injuries I'd sustained and certainly the pain that I, I went through in hospital. So I kind of pushed myself a little bit more and took it much more serious and, and quickly found myself looking to go into the British Superbike paddock. I was too old for Superstock 600, so the Ducati Tri-Options Cup was the, uh, was the kind of natural progression step. And I'm really glad that I did that. You know, it's uh, kind of taught me a lot and, uh, and, and racing with some real good talent at the front of the field. Finished just outside the top 10 on the first season, so in 2016. Um, 2017, sorry, I, did, uh, I finished just outside the top 10. And in 2018, went on and bought a new model, carried on plugging away, making progression the whole, whole way through. And, you know, as I've said in another video before, it's, uh, it's, it's like anything in life where, you know, you, you get out what you put in. And this time I was really, really pushing for more and striving for the top. And in 2019, I finally got my, uh, my first race win at Cadwell Park, which was really nice to, uh, to go back to the place that, uh, Neron killed me in 2016 and, uh, and had to share a podium with my dad. We got um, first place and a second place that weekend. So real, real special place. Cadwell's got a highs and lows and holds a real strong part of my heart. So um, yeah, glad, glad to get, get back there and, and get the trophy. Going back to 2019, I felt that I really needed to kind of move classes. I felt that I'd, I'd got everything out of the Chicati class that I could. Uh, and really, really wanted to push to step up to the Stock 1000 class. And, uh, and I, I made that known with a couple of people, the contacts that I'd, I'd met throughout racing in the British paddock. And Nick Morgan at MSS Kawasaki uh, is obviously the top guy to, uh, to run these, these big bikes. And um, we got in touch and he kindly did a test for me at Donington just before we went to Assen. Uh, in 2019, and uh, and I rode what's now my teammate Max Morgan club racing stock thousand at the time, and and I went really well on it. I, I really enjoyed riding the big bike, and uh, kind of created a relationship with with MSS, and I think um, we just built it from there. To be honest, he's kept an eye on what I'm doing, and I did a bit of endurance last year as well uh, with no limits, and uh, and that was on a on a bike that MSS pre prepared for me. Um, so I think I did a good enough job and, and you know, all the worlds aligned and we found ourselves on a new model, on a new bike, rolling out a new team and, uh, and back where, uh, where we belong in the British paddock. So fresh for 2021, uh, I've collaborated with Motorcycle Sport Media and we're going to bring you some fresh content throughout the season, uh, particularly behind the scenes and to give you an insight as to what goes on. Uh, obviously, regardless of what level you race at, we all make so many sacrifices to put into racing and, uh, and it would just be nice to, to give you a demonstration of, of what goes on for us behind the scenes at British Superbikes.